This is the Arjun tank, which is India's first indigenous built MBT. A tank is often evaluated under three criteria, protection, firepower, and mobility. In this video, we will look at all those parts of the tank, the protection that is a composite and structure of the Kanchan armor. This is the firepower of the tank, along with the basic step-by-step -step process, and what is inside it, and most importantly, this tank was reported to fire the Israeli Lahat missile. The mobility of the tank, along with the power plant inside it. And last but not the least, the pros and cons of this tank. So stay tuned and don't miss a beat. Interestingly, the Arjun Mark I Alpha service version is similar to this Leopard 2 MBT because the tank was co-developed with Krosnafi, who designed the original German main battle tank. This technical assistance is common in every country. Anyways, enough history lesson. Let's take a look at the parts of the tank. These are the track with mine plow, one of the few in the world that has a mine clearing rate. Moving to the sides are the explosive reactive armor, as you can see, they cover most of the fragile part of the tank. This is also known as Kanchen armor. This is the composite plates followed by the rolled homogeneous armor. And now the last one is a mix of fiberglass, ceramic, and aluminia. This armor is able to defeat armor piercing, thin stabilized discarding subot, and high explosive anti-tank warhead, just like these animation. This is the roof mounted driver's seat. Just close to it is the driver knight sight. Moving opposite to the driver is the reported ammunition storage, which is stored in special blast-proof canisters. This is the main armament of the Argent tank and comprises an old 120 mm rifled gun. It is fitted with a thermal sleeve, fume extractor, and a muzzle reference system. The gun is able to fire a full range of ammunition, including thin-stabilized armor-piercing discarding stabot. Let us look at how this works. When fired, the round leaves, discarding the protective shells. It could hit a target around 1.5 miles or 2.5 kilometers. It could also fire the laser homing anti-tank missile, Lahat from Israel, which can be fired from existing 105 mm and 120 mm tank guns. This has a range of up to 8,000 meter or five miles when launched from a ground platform and up to 13,000 meter or 8.1 miles when deployed from high elevation. But, as we speak, this missile firing capability is still being implemented. This is the panoramic sight camera of the tank commander, allowing him to have 360 degree field of view without coming out of the tank turret. The commander's panoramic sight has been integrated with thermal imagers. This enables the commander to effectively conduct surveillance both day and night through an eye-safe laser rangefinder. Moving to the side is the automatic target tracker. Let us see how this works. In case the turret is in the opposite direction, the tank commander through his 360 degree panoramic sight camera can pinpoint the target. And with just press of a button, the turret will automatically rotate and move in that direction. Keeping in mind, this is a gyro stabilized tank gun. When a target is painted by the commander, the gun will always maintain its elevation, even when the tank is moving. This is the Vehicle Infrared Countermeasure, or IR Jammer, meant to detour the missile which used infrared tracking to destroy its target. Now this is the Anti-Aircraft Gun. The features of Remote Firing Option, Automatic Cocking, a two-axis self-stabilized platform, helps in keeping the driver safe. This is a day camera and night vision, automated FCS and ballistics corrections, and automatic target tracking separate from the turret gun. This is the blow-off panel, where inside it stores around 39 different ammunition. This helps the crew to become safe when the tank is hit by the enemy and prevents explosion of the ammo. These are the smoke grenades used for anti-personal, as well as to create a smoke screen. Before we move ahead to the basic process of how this tank fires, let us look at the specification of the tank. It has an overall length with gun forward 10.638 meter. It has an overall height with gun rear of 2.8 meters, while its width is around 3864 meter, which is pretty huge for main battle tank. This gives the tank a combat weight of 58.5 tons, but reports suggest that this tank weights more than 68.5 ton. It might be even heavier than the American M1 A2 Abrahams, which weighs around 64 tons, and the British Challenger II, 
weighs around 62 tons, or the Israel Merkava Mk4 weights around 65 tons. In fact, the Indian Arjun Mark I Alpha is one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest, main battle tank in service today. All that weight is being powered by a German engine. The MTU 838K 501 diesel unit, developing 1400 horsepower. This gives the tank a maximum speed on cross country of 40 km per hour to 50 km per hour, which was pretty slow due to the added weight of the tank. This gives the tank a range of 450 km or 280 miles, and all of this is possible because it could carry fuel amounting to 1,610 liters or 430 US gallons. But the Indian wanted more from the old engine. Thus, the Arjun Tank Mark II would be equipped with an efficient 1500 BH brake horsepower or 1520 horsepower engine, which had been in development in India by DRDO. This tank has a crew of four. A commander that sits on the left of the tank. Here sits the gunner, which is just below the commander. On the right sits the loader just behind the blow-off panel door. And at the front sits the driver. Let us look at how this tank works. Step number one, mobility of the tank. Driver turn it by altering the speed of the tank tracks. To turn to the left, the driver turns the steering to the left, just like the animation here. This increasing of speed on the right track helps turn the tank to the left. Step number two, the commander scans the horizon through the 360 degree panoramic camera and pinpoint the target. Step number three, loader loads the desired shell as ordered by the commander. Step number four. So once the tank commander got to the right neighborhood, the gunner could actually get directly on target with better sights, making sure that wind agent elevation were factored and then take the shot and fire the desired shell. Again, we have to be unbiased regarding the pros and cons of this main battle tank. One of the major advantages is the Lahat missile firing capability against long range targets. The Kanchan armor was able to withstand hits from tank shells at point-blank range and defeated all available shells and armor piercing round, which also included the Israeli anti-armor rounds. Let us look at its disadvantages. The increase in protection from Kanchan armor remote control gun and the 90 plus upgrade came at a cost decreased tactical and operational mobility and made the tank slow. The Arjun's development period was so long that major design decisions became completely obsolete. We try to make every video from scratch in Blender 3D animation, so please do us a solid and subscribe to help us produce more video like these, unbiased and original content.